Oh no, oh no! No, 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 no! Gimme, and welcome back to another episode of Artcraft. And this is a Let's Play series from the Artcraft SMP server. And if you'd like to join us here in the Artcraft world, I'll leave links and details in the description below. So, as host of the world, there's a lot of maintenance and behind the scenes work that that needs to be done. So, today we're gonna go to the iron farm so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I literally know nothing about these mass village iron farms like a quad village like four single villages linked together is probably the biggest one I ever made and you know my redstone is, is pretty basic but the problem with this right now is that these villagers once they drop down to the bottom they can't swim back up after one of the last updates they now drown if they try to swim more than one block of water and we keep losing all our villagers Let's see, okay, we got that guy saved. Now we need to get the other guys before they start drowning too. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some dispensers. We're going to put dispenser, sign, dispenser. And then we need to figure out where the input is. And then once we have an input signal we can wire up all the dispensers doesn't sound too difficult let's uh let's see if I can figure it out all right the villagers are safe let's go look at our input so yeah it's this uh this piston right here this piston goes up and down, blocks the, the water source. Hmm. Alright. So I just need to get that input signal down, down to the bottom. All right, let's uh let's just start by making a platform. Safety first, guys. Safety first. I am probably going to just fall off of this thing like a million times though. So, I think the easiest way to do this is just to uh, going to be to go straight through. Alternatively, I would have to get inside the tube with the villagers and try to place the dispensers that way but I I don't think that would be so easy ah fail the glass isn't rendering through the water this is kinda tricky come on where you at? right there Alright, do I got a sign? Let's get a sign in here. Or did I did I break that piece of glass too? I don't know, did I? Alright, we're good. So just uh let's get these all the way down. There we go, we're all our dispensers are in place. Now, how am I going to 
wire this up. Let's let's go back up here and take a look at our input. So you guys are probably going to laugh at my very basic redstone abilities. Hmm. So we just need to get it down there. Okay, I think we'll just we'll just start with a torch tower. Make ourselves a redstone torch tower and we'll see if we'll see if that uh that'll work. We might have to do some some funny business to try and get them all on the the same timing, but Let's just do some experimenting. Can I get... Let me get down here to get a better perspective. Is that an endermite I hear? No endermite! No! Oh god! Oh evokers! Oh no! Murdered craft artist? Where you at? Where are you at? craft artist was almost murdered by an endermite. Okay, so back to work. Let's just get this, uh, let's just step it down with some blocks. And I know what you guys are saying. You're going to be like, oh, if you use uh, observer chains or if you do this, you can make it smaller. But Honestly, I just don't know what kind of input signal I'm going to get off this thing. Is it a is it a quick pulse? Does it turn on for 2 seconds and then turn off? I I don't know. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this design, but we're going to go ahead and just uh try some things out. There we go. We got it all wired up. The farm is on. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a signal. Oh no. Oh no, come on, really? Alright, let's take a look and... All right, they're at the bottom. Okay, day two. <laughs> Had to go back to Groova Guy, watch the tutorial, figure out what these villagers are doing. So it is a an extended pulse that I get, uh, and that's to allow the water uh, blocked by the piston to move. So, in order to not mess up any of the timings. We're just going to have observers observe the state change of the torch tower. And this should turn the dispensers on and off uh, at the correct times. Okay, and the villagers are escaping. I have not lost any of them yet. Let's get them down the tube. Okay. Come on, guys. I have to do I have to just go and push you in there? Alright. Alright, your turn, bro. Come on. Come on. Okay, looks like the villagers have come down to the bottom. Now we just need to see if they come back up. Looks like the pulse has stopped, and there they go, they're, they're coming back up to the top. Success! After days <laughs> of research and trial and error. Oh, by the way, I also found out that the village, I didn't bring them up high enough, 
and oh, come on again so I didn't I had to actually move all the dispensers up one block to get these guys into the right uh, position so let's do some testing and see if we have total success here if I can get back out there come on give me the noob after a whole day of building a whole day of testing and a ton of research I think we're finally finished we have an expanded storage system that way the world won't crash when this thing overflows got tons and tons of poppies that's our overflow dispenser we got our extra evokers down there as well we built this uh, little tunnel going down to our storage area and as you can see it's a pretty good show they're just constantly falling and up here we have an AFK room and then down here we have an observation deck now you gotta be careful in here because these vexes occasionally can get you in here so you don't want to AFK in this in this room this is really just to watch the show and we have achieved total victory I am so proud of myself for being able to repair such a large project but that's gonna do it for this episode of Artcraft. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And don't forget to hit that like and a subscribe if you want to see more from the Artcraft SMP server. And I'll see ya when I see ya.